Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. It's Kim with MrTruck.com. It's another Dad and Dave production with this Bronco's 2021 Sasquatch first edition V6 10 speed. Anyway, we've been driving this for seven days. We can't get enough of it. We're having a lot of fun with this puppy, but it is such a cool truck. So son, how much power does this have? It's got 315 horsepower and 410 foot-pound torque. Awesome, big power. And it feels like big power. Yeah. We climbed rocks with Anthony and now I'm gonna climb rocks with Dave. We're gonna see, Dave wants to buy one of these. But it's so awesome, it's such a cool truck. We're up here in Pole Hill. Uh, the last video we did was mid St. Vrain. Uh, so we're all up in the same area around Estes Park, but there's so many trails up here and there's some gnarly ones. This is a gnarly one, we'll see how this works out. But come join us for this review. Son, is this going to be your Bronco? <laughs> yeah. This is an all electric. Seats. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is the real one. This is power everything. Wow. Yeah. This Bronco. It's got more headroom than most pickup trucks do. Look at this. I got. Oh, this is probably a six-inch crown on this. But I got. Oh, I can get my big ten-gallon hat in here, dude. It's awesome. Bronco. Anyway, we are at. Pole Hill Road? Yeah. Up by Estes. It's only like four miles out of Estes. We just saw a, I believe the Toyota. They used to have Hummers up here hauling people around like, you know, 20 people at a time. It looks like today was a Toyota thing all modified. But this is cool. You don't have to drive. I know you like to drive fast, son, but you don't have to. You know, try not to hit too many trees <laughs> in here. Try to, some, try to avoid all those <laughs> trees and the, and the rocks. Yeah. Oh, what? Huh? You don't have to go that fast, son. You just kind of, <laughs> I walk through the holes. You're just trying to bounce your uh, way through I the don't holes. I remember this trail being this Oh, nasty. look up there, though, son. Now we're about to get to the gnarly. There's the gnarly. Let's see if I can get a picture of the gnarly. So what do I need to do here? Go all the way to the right well, or because to you, the left? Yeah, I think you should straddle the holes. But you just... Go down not, the hole... Down yeah. the middle? Yeah, with the tires on each side. Or if it's Sorry, you want to do Ford. it, if you want to do it easy, if you want to, this is the gnarly part of this Paul Hill Road. Probably this right here, huh? Yeah, you could go clear to the the right side if you wanted. But now, what I would suggest is because you're starting out here. Okay, it's nothing. I got to show you. So stop. Push this button. One pedal. Okay, now you're really going slow, right? Yeah. Okay, let off the let off. The Hit the foot feet behind then, uh, us or ahead of us? In front of us in the Hummer thing. Oh. No problem. You can back up, but now, now back up. And you got to give it the gas because you're in one pedal, which means you're stopped in time to let go of the gas. Way back? No, no, no. Just pull over a little ways. <laughs> or if you want to, you can drive along the right side and go right up the hill. If you want to. You can turn around and look. There you go. Let them, let, let them fly off the side. Man. You can get a little. This is the gnarly part of this Paul Hill Road. Probably right again. here. Huh? Yeah, you can go clear to the the right side if you wanted. But now, what I would suggest is because you're starting out here. Where the hell did I pick this one? <laughs> well, that's what I was telling you. I said we stop because I didn't want to scare the kids. Uh, I said, watch your camera, and it tells you where those rocks are, so you can kind of be up on... You're trying to get the tires up on the tall rocks, you know? That's always the goal. <laughs> yeah, you picked it. <laughs> oh, son. It's, it's a pretty gnarly ride. It'd be good. <laughs> okay, well, just watch all your cameras. Now, would you rather just do the front-facing one? 
or are you helping is these tires helping you because you can see where the big mm -hmm. rocks are next mm -hmm. to the tires mm -hmm. on this so you decide just don't run into that tree is all I care and you're gonna have to get up on this rock to get away from the tree so it doesn't slide into it that's the nice thing about front rear lockers you because if we were going through water crossings and doing this trail we would be sliding because that, that, lose traction when your tires are wet unless you're in the sand and you get gain traction so here if I was you I would go over to the right side but you do whatever you want son just want you to get a feel for this truck now don't go away mr. truck TV we'll be right back <laughs> some more rocks and see we're only beginning you gotta look ahead of us uh, that's the Grand Canyon and you may you are gonna have to go to your left probably get around the crowd oh well, that's not bad and then see now what I would do is crowd over to your right to get the tires up on those rocks so you can not lean over yeah you don't have to this is just like driving a four-wheeler it's just bigger <laughs> yeah it is well it's got so many tools you would have a hard time screwing up too much and this is a pretty rough trail see the giant rocks everywhere we're definitely on a rock shelf boy howdy some of them really look wicked oh here if I can get one. Can I have this one? It's the bright color, color and everything. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll we'll have to talk to the guys. See if Ford will make you a deal. See, that's good. Let's stop for a second. Because the locker, yeah, it makes it drag more. So let's disconnect the front locker. I love it up here. You got all this stuff up here you got starts off with sway control disconnect and then it goes to front locker and then it goes to rear locker and then what is this one this one is oh, shit, where it breaks that tire that breaks the tire and then this is your your sway control not your sway control but your stability control disconnect the camera never gives the uh, the angles and oh, stuff. i know it's depth is crazy. so hard to see depth on a camera picture we need to take a tape measure out there and stand out there and show because a lot of these holes are very deep and gnarly and you can't tell off of the camera view. And stuff I'm seeing. Wow. Wow, now we're going to the sky. That's when you really need your cameras when your, your nose is pointed up like that. But man, oh man, girl. Straddling the hole. It's like a little ravine like what the, the uh, Ironclad's Bunt School has all these little ravines all over it now. And I think that's what's going on because off-roading is such a popular sport. When we did this stuff five years ago, the trails were in much better shape. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's driving all over every trail. And sometimes they, they rent one and somebody bring in a truckload of ATVs and rent them out. So you got a lot more traffic than we ever had on these trails in Colorado. And then you get that plus the rain, it's washing out a lot of the, what used to be dirt covering some of these rocks. And all the rocks now are getting to be exposed. So that's part of the game. I mean, it's great. The sport's increasing. It makes more sales for vehicles like this Bronco and ATVs and side-by-sides. But it is certainly making it a little tougher on this old parts that are trying to have... Like, we're here on a Wednesday, and that's what we like to go on a Wednesday. Just so there's less people, and, and it's easier for us to do these things. We went on uh, Sunday, I mean, the grandkids did, and it was a little too crowded. And we didn't go up into the really bad stuff. We just played around mostly. But uh, that's how this works. So you can do a lot even without the rear locker. But rear locker, I like to have on when we're on this many different grades. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just drive as fast as you can. Let's just pick your, make pictures. your old dad. Yeah. Taking pictures of you. Yeah. <laughs> make your dad. <laughs> make your dad lose his bladder right here in the Bronco. <laughs> Let's see if you can't hit in the bumps. <laughs> your head. 
Does it? <laughs> but see, now see where the rocks, you, you watch that camera and you can tell which rock you're hitting and how much room you have, just like when you're, yeah. Well, you're, you're good and good. Hopefully that I front think the camera. front camera is better than. The, well, well that's, I mean, that's fine. I guess if you're in a really bad, sticky situation, yeah, um, I can see where that camera would make. Well, that's like what Anthony was doing. He was watching that, and he was climbing up those rocks with those tires. Of course, he's there down, so he had a really good footprint. And he now, what's could, the uh, full tire pressure? Thirty. That's like six. My, my, somewhere in there, it's close to forty. It's right under forty. But he had him down to ten pounds, and that made a big difference because he was climbing up some big rocks right up the side of him with this Bronco and that's in our first video and it was really good but yeah this is a good trail I'm glad you picked this one <laughs> I well it's not too bad now <laughs> well, I was worried Sunday when I first saw that first bunch of I kind of remember that when we were here yeah, I've only we were here been been side by once. side in ATV yeah that's true yeah. Okay. well let me get a show yeah it's just I remember it had some good views up here this goes to that wood wood bridge or whatever that was? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. To see just how gnarly that is. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's good. There we go. And then I can... Wait a minute. Where's our, oh, that's your backup camera. Let's see if it gets over. There's your front camera. Now you can use that or not. And... I mean, I mean, it looks bad, but I don't think it is bad. I don't think it's... Something. Yes, I don't think it's impossible to do in this Bronco. You know, I think I owned a Bronco too a long time ago. They were they were like mountain goats, but they were really short and dangerous on the highway. But they were halfway decent up here. Oh, cool. Oh, isn't that circle thing that you drive up here somewhere? Wow, we, uh, does that go anywhere? There's no road. There's no sign on it. You know? I oh, think it just getting, goes in a half. Circle. Yeah, I think we're getting close to where that wood bridge is. Yes. Remember that? Uh, we're, oh, there it is. Speaking of wood bridge, we're there. Uh, yeah, but we're not going to drive over it. Well, no, I don't think you can drive over yeah, the wood bridge. Know. Just remember where the rocks are on my side, too. Wow. Use your locker now? Sure. Okay, I'll push that one in. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's calling the phone. Yeah, I think the bridge here. is gone. Don't hit the posts. This is where all the good scenery is. Oh. Looking than this. Yeah. I don't think I think this bridge has been condemned. Yeah, great scenery up here. We're at the top of the world. Well, the grandkids would love to be climbing this rock. Holy Grand cow, that's a tall rock. This is where we should have done our open, son. Oh, you hear the hell? You hear the elk? What'd you say? Oh, wait. I thought I was hearing a helicopter. Oh, there's something. Yeah. And there is Estes, way out there in that cloud of smoke. Right above Estes. Smoky Town. If I can see the Stanley from up here or not. Wow, this is too cool. There's a bridge. We used to walk across this bridge years ago. It's beautiful up here. Yes, it is. that thing going to that hole. That's a deep hole. <laughs> You're doing it. Holy cow. And the back end drops in a deep hole. Wow, even the, the departure angle was pretty good right there by golly. Because that is not an easy hole.
There you go. It's working. Keep going. Turn hard. Yeah, that's too cool. I love it. That works. For the road on my side. I don't have to go all the way down the hill, fuck him. Well, that's not enough room for them. Oh. You get closer to my side, you get plenty of on my side. They're two feet away on my side. My side is over here. Oh, well, I was going to keep on going. I tell uh Oh. They ain't going to be able to get past me. Oh, okay, okay. You can go right beside him now, son. <laughs> Give him a thrill. Oh, that's a Toyota. So getting rid of all of the hummers. So, there's <laughs> you. See, I don't know if I'm <coughs> trying to adjust this so I can get both of us. Hold on a second, son. Ah, you're trying to kill me. My son's trying to kill me. Okay, I think, I think right there I'd get both of us. If I can ever get the phone. Chicken okay, like yeah, it's see. recording. Yeah, but I want to see if we're both in the picture. Mm -hmm. No, I want to see the preview. It doesn't want to give us a preview. Oh well, does me no good at all. Okay, we'll just pretend that I'm in the picture. Okay, let me try it one more time because I can see you, so I know you're in. Okay, okay, we'll try that. Okay, so there's a huge rock in front of us. Okay, well, you can see it on here. Holy cow. Yeah, if I would have just followed, but it still would have dropped off. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't drop off any more than I it did. Take the word. If you look at it, I was right in that. Well, you decide, because you haven't listened to me so far, so why would you start listening to me now? <laughs> but we don't know if you can clear that's, that's the, the problem then go to one side and try to get your tires up <laughs> on a rock if you don't think you're going to clear the the okay. transfer case see now that's that's pretty good son see that's the, what i would try to do follow the line of the rocks and straddle the ravine but you do what you want to do this is your learning experience i've already had all my learning experiences see now that this is an easy it looks Tall and steep, and it is <laughs> tall and steep. But see now, now enough, this is where you have a front camera to see if you're going to go straight down on the other side of the ledge. <laughs> and it is a drop, two drops actually. This is the two drop in. I'm going up and over. As that front camera got turned on, it should be getting some really good footage of what it looks like dropping off the world here, the face of the earth. Did the well come off the t off? The, is that what that noise was? It might have been. I don't know if it was. Lower. I it's don't know. Loop. Yeah, you're right. I think that's the only way to go straight. And it drops off. Look at this. Yeah, I know it. But Look at that right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good job. We're off to the races. We had to move the GoPros around because they were getting hot in the sunshine. And let one cool off and we put one inside. Hopefully, you can see us. At least our heads will look up once in a while to see you, but you'll see how much bouncing around we're really doing. So which one of these do we Well, that's up to you, son. You decide. That looks like the long trail. I don't know, son. I could, I mean, pull a trail book out. Yeah, I guess we could book it. Two, four, seven. I'm going to say 122. Pole Road. Where are you, Pole Road? Okay, that's Grand Lake. That's Boulder. Estes Park. Page 66. Okay. Well, you look at it, you figure out the maps. <clears throat> That's a pretty long trail. Actually, there's several trails through Pole Road Hill. I like it. I like it. This is a big draw for Estes Park because you got so many trails really close. We're only four miles from Estes. On Highway. I'm going to stay 122. I'll stay on 122. Okay, I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good trail. I forgot how long these were. I thought it was a real short I trail when you asked about it. I didn't see that one. Yeah. <laughs> but we should have action. Now, hopefully, you folks will be able to see us bobbing our heads around because that's what happens. We're bobbing our heads around with all these rocks. 
how much clearance does this thing have? <laughs> well, it, 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 it's 20 degree. I don't know. That's a good point. This one, I should measure it. I'm sure there's a measurement somewhere that I could have gotten to see. But this, because it is a Sasquatch and because it's first edition, this is supposed to have extra ground clearance. Of course, it's got 35 inch tires, and that's a lot of what determines your ground clearance is how tall your tires are. Because it's not like you can move your axles up and down. You can put a lift kit on it, but that just lifts the, the axles up, I guess. But if you don't put bigger tires on, you don't really gain anything there either. So it's all about how tall those tires are. Okay, now take your time. You got the front camera on if you want to see how far the drop is like you can see there's oh geez the round the world is flat look at that it goes, whoa oh you're doing good son see and if you use that one step the, the one pedal system yeah. anybody could do this you know that's what it's all about is teaching the newcomers i think i would call it that and then the uh the other thing i always forget the name of it but i wrote it down this time so i wouldn't forget about it And it is the one pedal, the trail one pedal drive is what I was talking about. The other thing is called the trail control. And that is where you can use your, your cruise control to step it up one miles an hour. There's, there's a limit, I think it's 15 miles an hour or less in low, low range and it's higher than that in high range. So I mean, the Raptor has it, the uh, Tremor Ranger has it, and this has it. And that's the trail control. And then the other thing's called the trail turn assist that locks up one of the rear tires. That is so cool. Yeah, I think Ford's doing a lot with this. I think they're going to gain quite a bit of market share. It looks cool too. Yeah. And it looks like the old version. I mean, you know, it's not exactly, totally, but it. At least it resembles it. And that, people like the heritage because, like, if you look at this and you're an old guy like me, you know it looks like an International Scout or the Ford Bronco. And of course, it looks a little more like the Ford Bronco. Both of them are very square. But it, 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 these manufacturers understand that. Just like the Blazer, the Blazer was very popular, the KTNs and all that. And the new Blazer looks like a Toyota. So, I that you know, if you really want to keep your, your populace, the people that have bought your brand for years, and you come out with a new model like this, make it look like what they remember. And it sells it, it people connect to that. And I think they've done a really good job here. And it's so cool about the, the horse, you know, the Mustang with 64 and a half Mustang had that running horse. Yeah. And it's the guy who designed that horse that it's his granddaughter that designed the Bron Bucking Bronco that's on these Broncos. So that's really cool. It's nice to have a connection to your history. I always appreciated that. So how would I get this goofy thing? Okay, never mind. What do you want to do? I'm trying to get the message on my screen that said, oh, okay. What, what, do I what go message? Now? Oh, geez. Jeez. Well, you can back up into that little spot right there. He can? Yeah, you can. Oh. Well, he's stopping. Who knows what he's doing over there? It looks like he's trying to give you room. So I think you're okay. That's enough room. Okay. And it's a Jeep. Where's my camera? I gotta take a picture of a Jeep as we drive by it. <laughs> you can't hit in the bumps. <laughs> you know, I think that's cool. You can might see if we can take you on the uh, Tacoma Trail. That's in two weeks. But I think this would be a good team. You, me, and Anthony. And then Jacob can do some stuff too on the Toyota Lions. But I think this could be a winning combination. Remember this off-roading videos. You can get a crew of us doing this thing. And Ford could give us a, a Bronco to long term for six months. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I've tried them for years. I've gotten free traders. I've gotten. I have gotten vehicles for six months before and three months, but it's been a long time ago. But you know, you should buy one, and then we can do all these videos. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I just have to come up with some cold hard cash. Let's sell all that crypto. You don't need all that crypto. Oh, it's climbing. It's oh, climbing. Oh, it looks to me days. like you can go right. See that ravine? Try to straddle that. Do you want to see the tire views now? The what? The tire views. Oh. 
That was so cool. See, look at that. Now you can see right where the rocks are on each side of the tire. I love that. Well, we're at the end of the trail up here at the Pole, at the pole Hill Road. Oh, right. And the wind's blowing a little bit. You can see beautiful picture of Estes, even though it's covered in smoke. But the rocks up here are so cool. This old bridge, I mean, it's awesome. And David really wants a Jeep. He really wants to buy a Jeep. <laughs> and David really wants to buy this Bronco. Yeah. So we'll have to work on a deal. <laughs> comes the wind. So hope you heard that. See you next time. Ken with Mr. Trek here with a really exciting trailer accessory. You know, trailer tires is a big deal. You got problems, especially 100 degree weather like we're having this year. You know, you're going to blow tires and the tires are going to blow, take out your fender, take out your clearance lights, and then you're going to sit there in the side road fixing your tire while your horses get hot. Sun coming down 100 degrees, no doors open and no fan. It's horrible. And I see it happen all the time, and so I go to higher ply tires, and I go to Tucson Tire Pressure Monitoring System. They got so many options. You can go with bands on the Alcoa wheels, that's such a small hole. You can go with the tire pressure monitoring where you have a valve stem and the, re and the relay below it, the transmitter. And then you can do the same transmitter on a band. And now the new one, I call them space balls, but they're actually tire pressure monitoring from Tucson ball sensors, like a ping pong ball rubber coated and you put this in your tire you, you crack open the bead throw it in there and it bounces around goes right for a little while and then once you get up to speed it just sticks to wherever it's at you know ahead of time what's going on this gives you special alerts before if the tire pressure is too high it goes off and beeps and flashes too low it beeps and flashes same way with heat and this will save you a lot of money you know price of a tire will pay for one of these puppies and why would you not want to know what's going on with the trader tires mm -hmm.